they just switched bikes. See, I'm on the King. 2016 King. And I am going to do a little review comparing my bike to his bike. So, so far, the difference is night and day, I think. As soon as you get on this bike, there's a shake, shake, shake. And that's what everybody comments on as far as riding a Harley is how can you ride that thing because it shakes so much but really guys that's what's nice about Harley I like the Harley shake shake but really his shakes a lot more than mine so that's the difference that's the big difference but once you get it going it doesn't shake anymore it's when you're idling or stopped at a light stopped at a stop sign you just start it up then yeah it's gonna do the Harley shake on you other than that um, I do love the difference between mine and his is I do not have a heel shifter like he does so I can shift with my heel down here I don't know if you can see that but that is a world of difference compared to mine mine does not have that mine will have that um, hopefully within the year yet because that is nice I like that it's very smooth um, the other difference is my bike is my bike his bike is his bike right but um, on his bike I feel like with his saddleman seat I feel like I'm sitting higher up on the bike um, and not in the bike but on the bike and at first I hated it but I actually kind of like it I think that the handlebars could be up a little higher because you're sitting so much higher on it because of the seat the different seats I don't slide around on his seat because I can't because the Sodomon seat does not allow that so the nice thing would be if I could wear leggings or something like that on the bike on my bike I would be sliding around on my seat on his bike I would stay put and I'd actually have to set up like off the bike in order to reposition myself it's kind of funny the other difference is this is a king right so much different than mine and I say that because it's a heavier bike it'll go through wind easier um, than my bike does um, the other thing that is different is he has legend suspension on his you're welcome you're welcome babe so I got it for him for his birthday um, but the legend suspension whoa night and day difference guys it rides like a Cadillac rides down the road I'm not even exaggerating when I say that that's how amazing the legend suspension is night and day difference mine does not have legend suspension but before Stevie got the legend suspension on the King he felt every single bump all the way up his back everywhere right it was horrible when we were riding in New Mexico last March um, I was hitting bumps didn't feel them as much he hit every bump and he was hurting really bad so then when I got him a legend suspension for his birthday in May um, we put him on or he put him on and uh, I was amazed crazy difference but this bike is gorgeous um, I don't really want him ever to sell it he talks about trading it in all the time and he's had people come up to him and ask him um, how much he wants for the king and I don't ever want him to sell it it's that nice and it's that fun that much fun to ride um, I honestly never thought that I could ride this bike because when I started riding it intimidated the crap out of me because it was such a, a heavier bike you know um, and every time I went and sat on the Heritage at all the Harley dealerships um, the Heritage would just fit me better but I did take a King out for a test ride and I just I don't know I just couldn't do it it was just too heavy of a bike for me but this 
This is okay. I can I can do it. I could totally do the king. Totally. That sounded horrible, didn't it? <laughs> didn't didn't mean it how it sounded. So in comparison to my bike, I really hate to compare it to my bike because I love my bike. But the king, the road king, this is in a league of itself, I think. Especially all the work that was done to the king before he even bought it. I mean, it looks sharp. It looks beautiful. It sounds amazing. It's loud. I wish my bike was that loud. It's just a different loud. This is more of a throat loud. Look at that sunset. It's a beautiful day in Nebraska today. So yeah, he's doing a, a comparison of my bike to his bike right now. And I'm supposed to be doing one comparison to his bike to my bike. But really there's they're just it's the king is just in its own league, I think. I feel. I mean, it's got the hard bags on it. It's got the loud pipes. It's got the Harley shake. Um, it's got all the bells and whistles on it that you need on a bike. It's comfortable to ride. It's a good thing I don't ride it more often because I might have taken it with me when I went on the four week um, tour for the Angie and Sunny this past summer. Because it's that, it's that comfortable. It's nice. But in comparison to mine, I love them both. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe someday Miss Stevie will be on a road king. Maybe someday. But for now, I love my bike. I don't ever want to trade it. I have had offers on my bike before. One most recently, when I was at Frontier yesterday. But I'm not ready to sell it. I love my bike, but I love the King too. Harvest is in season. This bike has been taken care of pretty darn good. For 2016, we're already 2021. It's a beauty and it shines and sparkles in the sun because it's got that crimson sparkle, crimson blue paint, I think is what it's called. And normally, Stevie and I can get about the same out of mileage out of mine compared to his. So there's a good comparison. It's comfortable. Both of them have their same comfort level, I feel. Um, there's no backrest on this one, but the saddleman seat kind of goes up in the back. I'd say one of the biggest things that I noticed right off the bat is the heel shifter. That's going to have to be updated on my bike for sure. Um, what else? It's a beast to watch. It is such a beast to watch because there's so much chrome. But it's a beautiful bike. It's super, super, super comfortable to ride. Right now I have lower back pain and I can feel it a little bit, but with these bars, it kind of lifts you up when you're riding anyway. So anybody out there that does not have apes for their bars, um, don't knock it unless you try it because I wasn't against it before on my bike, but I always thought it was just a bad look to have on your bike. But really after they put it on my bike, just to have me test it out while it was on the lift when I was going through the handlebar situation um, of deciding what to put on my bike. I was so shocked when they put those on my bike because it was so comfortable because it brings me up and it opens my chest and it just sit up straighter on the bike than you normally would with regular bars. So, okay guys. So if you like this video, push that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe, but also hit that bell notification so you know when we load up next time. And until next time, stay cool, and we will see you on the road.